Hello, I'm Jeff Satterwhite and welcome back to Centerline Construction Chat. Today's topic is slab construction. There's a few items that we're going to cover today is, is plumbing that's in a slab with this item. We're also going to cover the uh, relief stress lines that are cut in the slab, items to hold down the walls that are in the slab, elevator pits, and, con and the type of concrete. Uh, let's start off with the, uh, with the plumbing in the pipe in the, uh, in the slab. These pipes are, are lined with a special bag that's hot and cold and the, uh, the, the actual plumbing pipe is on the inside of these bags and what the, uh, the bag does is it allows the concrete to expand and contract um, around the bag and not around the pipe. So as hot and cold water passes through the pipe and the concrete is a, you know, a rigid uh, stiff surface that it doesn't crack the concrete or damage the pipe, it lets it slide independently um, of the expanding and attracting concrete. Same way with the, uh, with the drain pipe here, the, uh, there is a, a plastic uh, shield around the pipe to let it expand and contract at different rates because plumbing and concrete expand at, uh, at different rates. So this will allow the, the plumbing to expand and the concrete to expand and not uh, bust up the concrete or damage the pipe. Right here, if you notice that there is a line that's been cut in the concrete with a concrete saw, and these are cut in certain areas around the different slab because what that will do is that will also allow the concrete to expand and contract and not split itself apart as it heats and cools. Um, these items in my hand, this is a, a square washer and a 5 8 galvanized nut. These items are placed on these galvanized, galvanized rods and what they will do is they will actually hold down the two before walls onto the slab. This is part of the, the wind, 130 mile an hour wind zone uh, for this zone. So these will these are placed around the around the walls in certain locations for wind tie down. If you look right over here in the pit, uh, we actually have another drain because this is an elevator pit and this is set up by the engineer of so much uh, depth drop so that the elevator can go down in this space and the uh, floor of the elevator will be level with the floor of the slab. Um, underneath the slab is compacted sand and, and gravel to uh, create a strong base for the floor. Um, if you look around behind me, this the entire floor is going to have either hardwood floor on it or either tile uh, that's the floor coating. So there's, no, there's not going to be a wood floor, it's just going to be all concrete uh, as you see here. Well, thank you for tuning in to Centerline Construction Trap. I'm Jeff Satterwhite. Please log on to our website or call us if you have any questions. Thank you. Have a good day.